So we're going to look at a different circuit here now. We're still in low pass filters. And what we're going to look at here is a circuit that has got an inductor in it instead. Another very simple circuit. Now again, I could argue that we should be able to determine what kind of filter this is just by some logic arguments using impedance. Okay, so if at low frequencies here, um, an inductor um, acts as um, an open circuit because it's got, um, I'm sorry, it acts as a short circuit because it's got zero impedance. Um, because if you look at Z, L as being J omega L, at low frequencies it's a short circuit. Omega being zero, you get impedance being zero, so it's a wire. So if it's a wire here, if it's acting as a wire, that means the input voltage is just getting right to that resistor on the output. But then as frequency increases, this is going to get bigger and bigger, and at high frequencies, the inductor is going to behave as an open circuit, which is blocking the input voltage from getting to V out. Or you could think of it as blocking any current flowing to the resistor, so there'd be no voltage drop across the resistor. All right, but Instead of going through the whole analysis that we did before to figure out what the cutoff frequency is, what we're going to do here is we're going to find the transfer function. So, of course, I'm going to need SL here. So H at S, which is going to be V out at S, over V in at S. I'm going to find this transfer function. And this is another just voltage division. So this is just going to be R over SL plus R. Now remembering that we want a 1 in front of S, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply numerator and denominator by 1 over L. And so we get then that my transfer function is equal to R over L S plus R over L. So that's my transfer function. But wait a minute. What did we say in the previous lesson here? Any transfer function that's in this form is a low-pass filter. So this is in the form H at S is equal to A over S plus A. So it is a low pass filter. But not only is it a low pass filter, but it has cutoff frequency of R over L. So I don't even have to do that same whole finding the magnitude of everything and whatnot. So we've already done here with the inductor case here. An inductor in series with a resistor gives me a low pass filter. Now it's very important to notice here, and I'm going to draw this here, um, the difference between the circuits here. Um, 
And it's not just a matter of where you take the output voltage, it is how you wire the circuits up. You can't suddenly switch the order of these things are wired up here. For a capacitor, it was the capacitor that was your output and the resistor was attached to your voltage source. So that's very easy um, to get mixed up and you're going to need to know um, the different types of circuits here. Now I should emphasize something before we um, end this video here. These here, both of these circuits our first order filters. Now I'm going to show you some uh, images from some other websites to illustrate what we mean by first order filters. But the easiest reason to, to think that they're first order filters is look at how many poles they have. They have each have one pole. The transfer functions So I'm going to show you here, I believe I showed you this the image the other a uh, couple lessons ago here, that you know this blue curve is representing a first order filter, which is what we've just essentially designed here. We've got a first order filter, um, and then remember that the ideal filters are where it's like you go to your cutoff frequency and then it's straight down. Um, and we can see second, third, and fourth order filters, the higher the order of the filter, the better approximation that we get to that ideal case. And there's something that you can measure, which you'll learn in your advanced filter course, um, is where you can talk about what's the decibel per decade drop-off that your filter needs. Um, so there's a lot of different specifications that go into um, a filter design. It's not just, oh, what's the cutoff frequency? But we can definitely see that there. Okay, so there's also something else I want to show you. So if we go to, this is a Wikipedia page on Butterworth filters here, which again you'll learn more about that. But what I want to show you here is, N here is the order of the filter, and then you can see here, first order filter, it's got one pole. The second order filter, it's S squared plus square root of two S plus one, and there's reasons you'll be talking about that later on. But that's, you know, second order filter third order filter has three poles and they might not all be real poles they could be imaginary numbers as well but how many poles do they have fourth order filter has an s squared and s squared which is an s to the fourth power so we can go on and on and on and we can see that we get higher order filters um, now we are going to primarily focus on first order filters in this course we might look at some second order filters as well um, but we 